I'm going to open this evening the uh, Deerfield Planning Board at 7.02 on October 1st, 2018 in the Deerfield Town Hall on 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. Um, there are no minutes to preview, so that would be the first order. I'm reading it. Oh, That's I the see. first thing. I'm just going to warn you that there are no minutes. Um, and then we need to review the mail. Um, we'll have a public comment. Uh, we have new business in AR NR on Mountain Road, here, and uh, old business uh, with updates, if available, on projects in progress, which include uh, the Mill Village Road um, Dollar General project, uh, Set Right Road Old Frontier Solar Project, the Railroad Yard Road Solar Project also, and um, 31 Elm Street Cumberland Farm facility. We have a um, notation here that we will be looking at a Dumont Company project on Merrigan Way, but we have no information about that. We haven't seen that before, have we? And I don't think you were. I've never heard of yeah. Dumont. It's, it's EPD, so nothing to do with us. Oh, so oh. there you go. Oh, well, Yeah, it won't have anything to do with okay. us. That's correct. So we just don't know much about it. Um, and we've never seen it. And then any other business not reasonably anticipated, that would be uh, finally on our agenda. And then we'd set a date for the next meeting. So, um, should we review the mail later? Well, do we have the mail to review? Oh, look, that's usually my job. This folder it says other items. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. it's just other items. This is a postage thing. What is that last month's? Um, this is the 20th. Did we already look at these? I believe you did. Uh, last we meeting. did last yeah, yeah, meeting, yeah. which yeah, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no meal. No meal. Um, um, I'm going through it right now. There's nothing to bring to the forefront. It's okay. just. Greenfield town things. Uh, this one should probably be read aloud. This one is uh, from the town of Waitley. Legal notice town of Waitley. Notice is hereby given that the Zoning Board of Appeals of the town of Waitley will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, October 11th, 2018 at 7 p.m., uh, which is uh, next week, right? Sometime? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Thursday. At the town offices for Sandy Lane Waitley, uh, Wayne M. Hutkowski and Scott Hutkowski have applied for a special permit to use the existing greenhouses on their property at 149 Christian Lane for licensed marijuana cultivation yes. and for the variance from the setback requirement. The planned marijuana establishment will be operated by its legal owners and licensees who comp comprise urban grown Incorporated. These include Stephen Hebert, CEO of Hadley, Michael Hebert, COO of Hadley, uh, and manager of Holyoke, and Scott Soares, CFO of Long Meadow. Application for the permit and variance is to be considered under the provisions of the Waitley Zoning Bylaws. So we open the meeting. Good. <laughs> Would you pass that down, John? Excuse me? Would you pass that down? The, the letter I just read aloud? Yeah. Uh, another one, Town of Waitley. It's a special permit to replace sign atop the Bank of, uh, Bank of America ATM at the Irving Oil. Close to the town line, so I read that one.
And that one will be uh, heard at the October 11th Waitley ZBA meeting as well for Sandy Lane. <coughs> so we read the, or the, the, what do you call it? Agenda? Yep, the agenda. And we have no minutes. And John's reviewing the mail. So we have the public comments in it. So yep. You want to keep chairing that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> feel really great now. Are we good with the mail or are you still reviewing? Uh, th this one here is a little more, um, that one should probably be part yeah. of our, I, it, it's, I, it's got to do with the town of Deerfield. And yeah, this is from. That's a little more than just reading aloud. I, I think it's going to take a This little. is from Dedick. I think it's from the zoning enforcement officer mm, about not, things happening at the industrial no, park. No, it's to the zoning enforcement officer. To the from the the um, from the lawyer um, of Dedick's Dedick's lawyer. lawyer. Yeah, so I, I read that. I can summarize it. Yes. Yeah. 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 So that apparently some one of the uh, right. we got it. Uh, the occupant at five industrial drive west apparently has is. Done some things that Dedick is thinks is inconsistent with the uh, the agreements that they signed about a new driveway access. So they're looking into it. Okay, so it has Dedick nothing to do with <clears throat> nothing to do with us. We don't have any jurisdiction okay. over there. So it was more of an advisory. Kind all right, of thing. very good. Yeah. Here, uh, so that was all the mail. The two Waitley. Um, what was the second Waitley one? It's for a sign, a new sign on top of the Bank of America ATM over at the Irving Oil oh, okay. at the intersection of 116, so it's not, 5 it's and 10. Not important. It's just something to well, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, our, it's near the town line, yeah. so yeah. I yeah. felt yeah. it okay. prudent. Do you want to pass the back? You want to pass what back? The, the mail? mail? I'd, I'd like to just put some notes in about that. That okay. one's one that I All think. right, I'll leave it up. Well, the, sand, the other uh, Waitley one is you in think there you if you want to pass. minutes too? It was read aloud. This one was so about it's... the pot, the cultivation of pot at some greenhouses or something. But you know, unless you think it's not important to put in there. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it's important to put in. It just okay. it becomes, we, never, we never do it before. It becomes no, public record once it's, it's read, that's record. all. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. So I apologize, I'm, I'm, I'm late. I'm John Waite, the chair. Did we already? Late we haven't introduced ourselves yet. Maybe we should, maybe we should do that, and we have a full quorum. We have a not, not, not just a quorum, but the whole the group. Whole so let's uh, let's introduce Giovanna. ourselves. The you want to start, John? Full, uh, the full house My name is John Baronis. Rachel Blaine. John Wheat. Kip Camosa. Paul Alice. Roger Sadowski. Max Ortiz. Excellent. Thanks for everybody being here on the first Monday of October. So then the next uh, point on the agenda is public comment, and what we'd like to do is just to help. Uh, Residents, if you have a comment on something that's not on uh, on the agenda tonight, we take a couple minutes just to hear hear from people. Um, so, is there anything anybody has a comment on that's not already on the agenda? Okay, we'll go to new business. Our new business is an A and R on Mountain Road. Plan to convey a portion of 24 Mountain Road to 20 Mountain Road. Is there anybody here yes. that can tell us more about it? <clears throat> Come on up and just introduce yourself. We have the plans. Let me just make sure we've got the um, paperwork. My name is my name is Deb Henson, and I am the uh, owner and resident at Twenty Mountain Road. And you have the plans in front of you. Uh, I turned over all the copies that I had from the surveyor, so I don't have anything to reference. But I am. Um, going to be purchasing a quarter acre parcel with frontage on Mountain Road adjacent uh, to my lot from my neighbor, uh, Richard Eaton. And uh, it's an existing lot by the tax maps, um, but it's no longer a separate building lot. Some point in the past, the frontage um, requirements changed. It's got 75 feet of frontage. And, uh, and so he has agreed to, to sell me that portion, and I'm going to be adding it to my half-acre lot uh, at 20 Mountain Road, which also has 75 feet of frontage. And um, so that's the proposal that's in front of you. 
Um, I'm sure you'd like to know sort of why I'm doing that. <laughs> um, yes. The sort of the next plan, um, then when I get my ducks in a row, so to speak, uh, is to uh, add an addition onto my home. And um, I would like to do an attached garage. And if the dollars and cents work out, I would also like to construct another living unit uh, to make my home technically into a duplex. Uh, and so I would have 150 feet of frontage, which is 25 more than I need by zoning in the CBR district for duplex construction. So that would be my one question is, is the current CVRD is 125 feet? Well, it's 100 feet, but if you're doing a duplex, it requires a 25%. Okay, so it's 100, okay. Yeah. So additional. by him transferring ownership, he isn't any less he will compliant. still have a hundred right. feet frontage so because yes. there's probably some legality in there somewhere if he didn't have absolutely but it, it's no all, he's he's left with a, a yeah. fully conforming uh, lot himself yes and we have the application and it's stamped by the town and the fee was paid so you're not you're actually not creating more parcels you're no. actually changing a lot just line. going from one to the other line. so the fee is mm -hmm. hundred yeah Well, I'd like to make a, a, a motion to endorse the uh, plan as presented. I'll second the motion. John, can I just clarify? Mm -hmm. CVRD. This is CVRD. Correct. So it's a hundred. Oh, and then one hundred and twenty-five for because there's um, a note. Well, she has one hundred and fifty with this now. Well, no, no, no. The the, the, the person that's that's. Well, I'd want to make sure the one that's the other one. being left over is yeah, right over. because there's probably mm -hmm. some which it is. If he didn't have enough frontage left over, there probably is some. Yeah. And by right, you can build a duplex. Yes. But on the, again, we're not endorsing that. So on this, no. it says the planning board endorsement mm -hmm. under subdivision control law should not be construed as either an endorsement or an approval of zoning requirements. So this does not mean that it's a, yeah, we're a building board. Yeah, we're just endorsing board. the ANR. Right. Although right, it doesn't require that. subdivision. No, I know. Control. I just, just Personal knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't, um, does this say anywhere on it, not a building line? You no. just read it somewhere. I thought you pointed over no. here. It says, it says the endorsement on the subdivision control law should not be construed as either an endorsement or an approval of zoning requirements. But she's but actually I, taking that line out, I so we it will become part of it's, yeah, I'm, I'm the not, broader property. I'm now yeah. going to have 150 feet of frontage and... Three quarters of an acre. Yeah, we normally require that our ANRs say on it, this approval does not constitute a building lot. Well, it, but when she pulls that line it's not out, a separate it's, lot. It becomes, no, it's, it's still moving one, from one to another. It's so. still one right. lot. Yeah. If it were the other way around, John, if she was yeah. separating it right. off, off yeah, yeah. and turning it into a new lot, yes, then. So this line's being moved over, really, is what's going on. Well, apparently, this was a lot that was built, that was laid out but never, never taken advantage of. Right, right. If you actually look at the town uh, zoning map, that little parcel does exist as a oh, separate okay. parcel already. Okay. It's just a non-conforming okay. lot with yeah. its current dimension. And so he's going to sell me that parcel so I can add it to mine. Right, which is making your property a conforming lot, which is always... Always good. Thing. Desirable, right? <laughs> desirable, I guess. The rules changing. Good or bad, I'm not sure, but desirable. So we have a motion and a second. Who seconds? <coughs> public comment? Do you want any public comment or anything? No? Okay. Just... It's an A and R. It's an A and R. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, is there any discussion? No. No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Seven zero zero. Thank you. All right. Got the you know what worked last time very moment. well? We put all of these together. And, and just, just walk over. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. worked. Well, I got uh, the three plus the mile hour, which is what we need. But let's do four well, plus then the you're mile. in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting down this time. I did all that running around. This time. Actually, that's, that's an extra one. You can take that one back. We'll sign four of them, and that's a plenty. Okay. There's an extra one too, right? Is this an extra one, John? No. Those two are. I got I got four paper. Yep. 
I think no. we just need three papers. We can have that one as well. We need three. And then you'll get the Mylar back so you can file it. Okay, so I'm only giving the Mylar back? Yeah, and, and those. And, and those two. The unsigned copies. Right, so you, you want another one signed? We can sign it for you. Mr. Bayer said, give him to sign as much as you can. Did he? Did he? Here. Is he related to the, your neighbor? Uh, yes. Cousin. Yeah, I know, I saw the last name. Yeah. Did he work for, he worked for uh, Eaton? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll Eaton take one more of them. Oh, okay. Well, that was very kind of him to uh, yeah. well, let go of the property. Him. Huh? Yeah, he's but I mean, he's still, yeah. no, I, I, I most asked, people wouldn't do that. I had asked him a year ago, just to say, hey, did you ever think about it? <laughs> then you got out your checkbook and it all changed. That's it. <laughs> it's it's uh -huh. I don't need to cover it. Don't cover it. Does cover it. Yeah. it happens, happens. Well, that's five, five out of seven. Consigned. Yeah, we're good down here. Yeah, I don't. It's so oh. should I wait? Yeah, the you mylar should take the mylar back and then. Um, and you were going to give me one sign. And then one second. Yep. I'm, um, I don't know. Well, I won't ask. I didn't sign anything. No, I was going to ask her another question, but okay. she didn't say anything during public comments. So I'm good. <laughs> about her neighbors. My neighborhood. About your neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't ask her. I didn't hear any complaints, so oh. I don't. I'm, I'm not asking. Yeah. I'm gonna fertilize my new hedges and see how fast they grow. There you go. There's something in the paper somewhere there. Right? Let's see, 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 see how this is going up. Fertilize something. It's in the paper today. Like, I don't know. Uh, right. You check us. So you get I, I did. I, I didn't check you here. I check you and Roger. Uh, Roger, can I wait? Oh my God. And I, I can't even wait. Everybody's here. Everybody get an agenda? Yep. Yeah. Will you yeah. sign in? Of course. I think you just wanted. Uh, no, we do we no, have we should get five. Yeah. One more. You need at least, okay. at least four. But you know, the more the merrier. This is mine. That's yours. This your pen, Joe? No, it's not mine. Okay, let's set that up here. It's not John. I'm going to do this. Check. Oh, here. Okay, this one here she can have. Back. Here's, here's your sign. Button. Her and Max doesn't want to sign it? Does She's Max got, to sign it. She's Go got ahead. more than she needs already. Go ahead and have Max sign it too. No, you might as well get it. You might as well get those boxes there somewhere. I know. She's, she wants us to put them back. She can get Did you see when? Directions. Yeah, yes. Three. Yeah. Well, Wendy wants us to put the boxes back. Yeah, she said just to put them all in this uh, same office. All right. In the planning board office. Except for the so as uh, some members are finishing signing the A&R, I just want to go over the old business. So what, what the plan is tonight is we do not have a continuation of any public hearings that's been posted. So I thought it would give us a good time for the planning board members in particular to make sure that we, we, we kind of know what's going on because we've got a full plate in the past couple months. And I myself am even not clear necessarily about who's doing what, when, and what, are, what, what we're going to end up making decisions on. So I, I think if we go through some of these items one by one, make sure we know, you know who our technical review person is, who our administrative review people, and what's, what, what do we you, Could you also schedule? review, since I've missed two meetings, what is the ruling on that? And that's another issue that came up last meeting, is that uh, in order to vote on, on special permits in particular, um, you know, board members have responsibility for attending the meetings and or catching up with the information. Okay, so just and as long as we look at it, you well, can do it online. Well, I think Pat need, Smith was supposed to delve into that. You need some more clarification. Okay, okay. all right. If you watch it on Generally, if you watch the recording of the meeting, that yeah. that covers you, but I didn't know how, if, it two, if it covered two meetings, you know. Yes. And oh, it does, you okay. Know, if, it, if it wasn't for some reason, we were able to catch up on 
get a good explanation of what happened, read the minutes, I think that can also count. And then you've got to sign something saying you've done that. Right. Okay. right. So, Do you um, think we need an FBI investigation? I think so. Absolutely. I think so. You should get Mr. Flake to make that decision <laughs> for you. Deb, you've got what you need? Yeah. Thank, you Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Did you get the mylar? I've got the mylar. Um, okay, yes. good. Yeah. Thank you. So from what I'm hearing now is even if you've missed two meetings, as long as you review all evidence, including videos, and attest to the fact, then you're good. All right. But okay, Pat that, Smith that is bad. checking. I got through half of the 12th, and I didn't get to the 17th yet. So. All right. So we're going to have our, because several of these are big projects that we're going to get, well, Pat Smith's looking into it, and then we're going to have council really make sure we mm -hmm. know it's clear. And then, of course, we have to go through back to the minutes, because last, last month we, we thought Roger was at a meeting, but he wasn't, so we have to make sure that our minutes are, are correct as well. So everybody should volunteer that information yeah, to make sure you were at meetings. And what meeting uh, would that be? Which date? The, the 17th? Maybe the last one was the one. No, but oh, the 12th. Well, okay. it's, it, at the last meeting, no, we, no, no. we reviewed the minutes. Right. No, it was That's the 20th. It was the last meeting. Yeah. It was the one prior to the last yeah. meeting. So mm -hmm. Paul said the 12th. Well, well, no, the 12th well, was two ago. ago. So well, the 20th, it was 20th. We've had two. 20th of August, the 12th of, uh, of September, and the 17th of September. So that gives you three meetings before today. So is that any one of those you didn't make? I made the last one. The one prior to that, I didn't fall. That would be the 12th, then. But I said the 12th, and that's what you said. Why? The they, 17th. Somebody was. No, the last meeting was the 17th, and the one before that was the 12th, right? Correct. Right, but Roger was at both. Both August 20th, he was not. He said one. to remove himself from the August 20th. It was the 20th? Yeah. 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 August 20th? Okay. All right. So that was three meetings ago. So I just, so I just want to um, highlight to the people in the audience, thanks you for coming, but that's, that's the plan tonight in case you weren't sure. We're not, we can't take new information because it's not a public hearing. Um, so it's really more administrative kinds, kinds of stuff. Um, so let's start with, um, with the Dollar General. And I asked uh, the town officials to give us all the paperwork. So behind me is all the boxes. We have a box for each of these projects. Uh -huh. um, so my understanding, um, well, with, with the Dollar General, the, the public hearing has been continued. And we have hired, uh, the town has hired Ty and Bond to, as the technical review. And the, the, the update I got uh, from Gene Christie, who was the lead when person. When is it continued to the, what date? That's the a good 8th. question. And that's something we should check on and agree on. What date? November 8th. November the 8th. Yeah. Yep. And I had a question too, John, before we get to the end of it. There's a current one we get doing with Cumberland Farms that that we, we need to discuss tonight, too, yes, I understand. That's, that's on, on the agenda. List. That's the fourth. The well, last one down there, yep. Yep. Okay. Well, it's, I, I guess what I'm saying is that these others were catching up on where it's at, but that one there, there's actually some stuff that we need to decide, right? On that particular one, that's different than all the others. <laughs> is that right <laughs> or all, not? They're all different. They're all different, they're so let's all, go okay. through them one at a time. Right. We, and we, I don't think it should take too long, but I okay. think Okay, no, that's fine. I just one at a time, and let's do it. So, um, so today I got the, uh, just a, a recap of what's happening with uh, Ty and Bond is they met with the applicants engineers to discuss the comments that they covered last month. Um, the applicant, I've been told that the applicants engineer did perform test pits, but Ty and Bond was not present. Uh, Gene is working with them to directly resolve this because if you remember last month we said we wanted the third party to witness. reviewer to be yes. there when yeah. they do the test fits. So I'm not really clear on why test fits were done without Ty and Bond present, but they're going to address that. Curious. And again, which one is that? They took those test fits a long, long time ago, John, and I don't know if it's the same test fits. Well, there were some that have been more recent. She's talking about ones between the last meeting and this one. Oh, okay. I, because I knew they did some a long time ago. Just yeah, there was supposed to be a third party test pit review in different areas, not just where they... I didn't know in the test pitch you were referring to if it was for the septic system. 
Uh, I think that's what I read in one of the emails. A anyway, I, I, I don't have the details. I'm just, the update, what I got is that the applicant's engineer did perform test pits, but Tyan Bond was not present. I am working with them to directly resolve this. That's, that's all and I that's, know. that's the Dollar General store. Yeah. So I can just give you these for the minutes if you want. I've got, I, okay, I, I, I printed out some of the minutes, some of the emails that we got. Okay. But, uh, yeah, if you just there give me something you want in the minutes, to tell me. Tyan Bond says they have finished their traffic review and they will be issuing their findings this week. So that'll be... Uh, forward to the town. Now, there's a question actually that um, when the town gets information like this from our peer reviewers, it should go to the planning board members. We should have a chance to review it. It becomes public information. The town has, I don't know, three or four weeks to get the information out to the public. Um, I'm, often, I'm often asked by residents, has, has the traffic study been done yet? Has the review been done yet? Can I see it? We don't want to withhold anything. Um, so we tend to just release it, but sometimes there's a few back and forth clarifications. So I don't know if anybody here has a, should we release it? Well, it shouldn't be released until it's out of the draft stage because it, it, it can become convoluted. Yeah. Um, you know, well, I read this, well, that wasn't the final copy, you know what I'm saying? Um, so the applicant submitted a, tra a traffic re uh, report last time. And so that's what Ty and Bond's been, been yeah. reviewing, and then they'll issue a letter to us, which then we'll talk about. So that's a draft, that's kind of still a draft, is that what you're saying? I, I don't think it should be, I mean, it, it, it still should be public knowledge, but mm -hmm. not sent out in electronic form, perhaps, I guess what I mean, until it's final final, just to avoid confusion. So everybody's looking at the same final final. But yeah, the issue is we're we're in the middle. We're still in the middle of public right. hearings, which means everybody right. can comment on it. And what's the right. date on that document, John? I I've got them at home. So, what's the date on that email? This is today. This okay. Email from Gene Christie. This is just. I, ju yeah, I, email I thought I printed it out, but I haven't found it. No, no, so no one. You didn't. Oh, you did get it. Yeah, you, I did. We got it, it just a, I, I read an hour that. Ago. Yeah, I just happened to read it. So yeah. I just. John, uh, John Ronos's point should be well taken that it's not that you're trying to hide anything to keep everything transparent, but the problem arises if every time something comes in, you turn it out. It's exactly what the select board went through with these marijuana uh, host agreements because you end up with changes going back and forth. At the end of one week, you have seven different portions, and then somebody will say, well, this one said this. I've got it in front of me. Well, yeah, but that one isn't, you know, and, and it does cause more problem. It causes more problems than the benefits. We can release it. We can so I think the way to solve that, that, that it's problem. It's completed and then. Or at each meeting, you, 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 right. you disseminate the, the whatever, right. if it's draft number six, while well, everybody's looking at right. draft number six. And that's, that's, I mean, that's why we're having public hearings, because it's not. Exactly. You know, it might take longer that way, but everybody's looking at the same thing at the same time. Correct. So Correct. I think that's. Important. And I, I, I think we're, there's good evidence that we're not rushing anything through here because we've continued the hearing several times and if mm -hmm. we need to, we'll do it again. So it's, I don't think that's an issue. So the other, uh, uh, Gene also says, I have not received any further documentation from the applicant's engineer at this time. So again, they haven't had any. From the last any meeting, Ty and Bond gave them things to do and they haven't responded yet. So now, I, again, they have until November 8th until the next public meeting to do that. Can you just clarify something? I did, I did read that before I came um, and it made me wonder. We, we said we would accept what the ComCom did in our stormwater plan or are we... Uh, asking them to redo it. Are we asking them to redo it? Who is asking them to do those test pits. Are we doing it because of stormwater? Yes. Or is the ComCom doing it for some other reason? No. Because no. they had a wetlands thing they were talking about in the back, right? Somewhere they were, wasn't there a question on that? My understanding is there's a question for the ComCom, not for us. We're doing stormwater. Okay, all right. And right. site plan. The, the, our, our engineer, our um, third party su suggested, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, we have, they have for the septic design test pits, but there's none on the other side of the property to determine the, uh, the, the soils for the stormwater. So it's, so it's really our, our thing, not the uh, ComCon then, right? Separate. 
Well, the, the stormwater is under us, so right. that's why that's why I was trying to get clear in my mind whose responsibility these test pits were and whether whether we need to state what we want our peer review to do when they were supposed to be there. Well, that's what they're doing. For, for stormwater. For stormwater. Right, right, but not for what he's talking about, wetlands. the wetlands. Concom only deals with wetlands, right. so that's, and that, uh, again, it, it. I got the idea those pits were to do with the sewer system, no. not the, not the no, Concom. No, they weren't. They weren't? Okay, no. that's, what I, that's what I need to get clear in my mind then. This, this, all, this is from our tie-in bond who's reviewing it for stormwater. Nothing to do with concom and wetlands. Whether there is another issue of concom and wetlands, that's maybe. Okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah, but my point was is that, um, as I thought it was said, something said that there would be uh, three pits and that the, the peer view would be there, and if somebody from the, from the planning board wanted to be there, they could. And now you're saying that, that nobody did it, they just did them, and, and nobody's reviewed it. From oh, I'm not saying anything except what I read. Okay. Let's pe right. put that in the minutes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The applicant's engineer did perform test pits, but Ty and Bond was not present. Ty and Bond is working with them directly to resolve this. Okay. All right. Period. Period. Okay. I'll put that's that simple. Down. All right. Thank All right. you, Paul. Um, Can we have that? And if you, if it's just a copy, and I'll underline that specific. And then um, Pat Smith is our doing the sort of administrative review of that project. And again, at the last meeting, she had 23 or I think is what I counted um, items that um, were not met yet. So, and she, I spoke to her briefly today and she has not received anything yet back from them. So again, they, you know, the date was November 8th. So that's, that's the update on that. So anything else about um, about Dollar General? So if if um, if there is a question, uh, do we spur Concom to look at for wetlands again, or who, who's who's? Uh, so we we received that email, you know, notification from a, a concerned citizen right. saying um, this was reviewed as a wetland pos potential uh -huh. was not deemed wetlands by. Conservation Commission, but it's now that that has expired. It would be, and I feel like um, we need to respond to that, but I not because just because it was addressed to us. So we did ask the CONCOM, and CONCOM, as everybody might be aware, has gone through some how many people and who's on that committee. Um, but I believe um, Steve. No. Uh, oh right. Louis. What's Louis? Uh, Mission. Mission. Mission is the chair and I've had some back and forth with him and I, I think they are trying to figure out if they have some uh, authority to look at okay. this now that both when the last time they looked at it was before the trees came down and also whether it's DOT property or not because right. okay. I'm not sure that that was what was looked at prior to. And now the new issue apparently that. is that there will be some construction on the DOT land because that's where they're going to have to put the driveway. Right. So that it, it, should, it needs to be looked at. Right. So I will try to follow up on that and make sure that. Uh, yeah, Darren Gray made it. You know. Yeah. He brought that up. It needs to be looked at as a singular unit, whether or not you know, Mass <laughs> DOT, the people right. own the property, it's still going to have construction and, and impacts um, on it. So it needs to be looked at as a singular piece of property. Right. As does the stormwater on it. Correct. Too. Yeah. Okay, and then on, on okay. that, I read some in the paper about this, about the, the meeting that I didn't come to, um, and it, it made me wonder about it. Um, have we set on the design of the building or anything like that in our group yet for the site plan review? So far away so from that's, that right that's now, still right? in That's still in progress, right? There's comments made at the last meeting, and they haven't responded to them yet. Well, I didn't know if, 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 this, if the planning board, if we had discussed it at all, because I had some other thoughts from that that I wanted to put in, but not until we're ready to discuss it as a planning board, you know. You mean the Well, any information design? Is, it needs to be held off until the next public hearing. Yeah. You, can't, you can't bring right. new information. Well, I, but without knowing yeah. what went on at the previous meeting, that's why I was just trying to clarify my mm, mind. Nothing, where we're at. nothing about it. I am watching it now. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten he did. halfway he through the 12th. Concert. And I still got to do the 17th, so. 
Um, would this be a no? Good the seventeenth wasn't about Dollar General. No, I know, but it okay. still has to do with other stuff. So I was going to watch them both. Um, I guess this is a good time to talk about November eighth, whether we'll have a quorum here or not. Is that a Monday? No. It, it, as it turns out, the first Monday of uh, November is the okay. night before elections, and we can't use the town hall. Oh. The second Monday is Veterans Day. You can't meet then. So, so what day is that? It's a Thursday. We went to a, a Thursday. Um, and actually, yeah. I'll need to check that, but I probably um, can make it. I just have to find out. John, I, I think I'm far enough along in my project where even if you know I'm still involved with it, I, I can make it. So you've missed several Dollar General public two. hearings. Just two? Two. That's it. Believe it or not. Honestly, because we had, we had st huh? stops and starts, so that's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. The first one didn't count because, right. you know, so. Uh, I, I believe it was July and August. And, um, When's our next meeting, John? Right now, it's November 8th. I couldn't find that we I had scheduled. I about the 29th. Was there anything planned for the 29th? Okay. I have it, too. What's that? I have it too. October? Yeah. I have it too. I remember hearing, I, I, I think perhaps uh, we changed it. See, this would be nice if I had my meeting. To November 8th. Because mm -mm, this might be about set right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's what it is. Okay. Well, as we go through this checklist, make sure we know when each of these is uh, the next meeting is. So it's sounding like the 8th is the next meeting. <coughs> and that's the regular meeting plus the continuation of the, well, the Dollar General. Dollar General and, I believe, the solar yeah, the projects. Solar, yeah. Is that right? Both solar projects? Just, just one. Just the one. Set right. Just the railroad one. The railroad solar? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. See, that's why we need to do this. Um, so when is the uh, set right one? Let's get it Don't you usually make notes of when we change dates for the meetings before? Well, we, were, we had to change one date is after. Is that the Ostrowski property, the set right road? We had to try to okay. find out as well. Usually we have minutes, too, to help us with this. Sorry. So, um, <laughs> But I figured out of seven of us, we ought to come up with it. Well, so who's, who knows when, uh, when we're continuing the set right road one to. And was that the people you changed? Well, there was no discussion yeah, about, about the set right road one at the last meeting. That was so. not set right. The problem was, that, okay, if we moved to set right, if we could do that, we were going to get um, peer review opportunities for that. Because we're right, but to we that. still had to have set something. But they would have had to sign the extension at this point. I think set right was 29. Because we needed. I agree with you. That was set right. I think right. you're right. We continued that day, they thought. Yeah. And when did you continue the that? The fifth what, Monday. What meeting did you continue that from? Last one. The last 17. one, which is the 17th? Yeah. Okay, so continuation. We haven't, the railroad right? project, I don't think we had it public. I just remember on the 12th, there were the two, the Dollar General and the railroad. And what day of the week is the 29th? So Monday. Monday. It's the fifth Monday, that was the thing. Oh, we did talk about how that was like a free day meeting. Yeah. Now it's going to be a special town meeting. Special town meeting. I don't know how we can. I think we said seven o'clock. That's probably when the well. The, if we if we change the date six. within two weeks, we we're okay. I think, right? I mean, we can. No, we so I did ask uh, Pat about that today. I said, how, you know, because it's not it doesn't need a new public notice, but people need to be informed. But it has to be a date it certain. The purpose and um, yeah. it's easy if you if you like if it's after this potential scheduled time. You right. can always tell people, sorry, we can't do it tonight. We're going to do it in two weeks. You can't do it before. To do it ahead of time would be right. Not, not cool. So you're thinking of piling it on the eighth? Well, no. If we if we announce the 29th, then that's that's when it should be. 
We don't have to. Is it set right? But but then if the if the annual the special annual meeting is here, town meeting is here. How where are we going to meet in the kitchen or? That is the 29th. I think that's. It is. Oh, it is Monday. And it's definitely going to go, kid. So far. Okay, I didn't know because yeah. you said tentatively, so I didn't know if there was some uh, kind of. No, it's it's set up for that. I think we'll get all our bylaws. Go ahead, Wendy. Yes, speak. Do you have information? I think we could possibly change that if it's critical. No, it's not. I mean, we could change. Because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm having more articles melt away as time goes by, so we're going to talk about it Wednesday night. Um, so the board. And, it would, and that would be normally at 6 o'clock? 6 or 7. It will be probably very short. I think we only currently have three or more articles. I mean, knowing that we do get people interested in this, we should be on camera or in a big room, I guess. We shouldn't, you know, try to go in a small room or something. Mm -hmm. Well, there's been a lot of... Well, yeah, you need to have room for audience members. Yeah. concerned about that. Yeah. Yeah, because they were going to bring back details of different things. That was a whole list of items they were going to bring back to the next open meeting, right? Wendy said something. What did you say, Wendy? I think we could move it a little later um, if necessary. It's like the um, the warrant, the uh, town meeting. Yeah, we haven't closed it. Um, I'll have to check tomorrow. So when you say later, would be another day another or week. later in the evening? Okay. Like the eighth of November. <laughs> What's that? Probably another date. Monday night. Yeah. Uh, but I'll work on that tomorrow. See yeah, no, I'm not trying okay. to push you. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it would have been in the 20th, August 20th meeting would have been. Yeah. It wasn't, I looked at the calendar. It was, it was the end of the <clears throat> All right, so let's call our next meeting the 29th. Did, did set right, did anybody come back with all the So list? let's just, so let's just go in order here, so. Um, sorry. Well, I'm not talking about set right. Oh, I'm just, just, said, just said set right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought that's what we were talking about. No, I, I, we started talking about the Dollar General. Dollar General uh, continuation. Oh, okay, because you were talking about the continuation of set right solar to the October 29th, I thought. Yeah, we did go on. And that's why I'm asking the question. If, if, all right, was that the one that we had the whole list of things that were going to come back with answers to? They said how many, truck was going, how many trucks were going up there, how many? Yeah, he came back with that answer. And did they, did they come back with the answer already? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, they came that's back. been done. Okay, that's why yeah, I'm asking. Right yeah. so, they came back with a lot the other day. Yeah, okay, good. Are we still on Dollar General, John? Or yes, well, okay. so I just want to inform people that on November 8th, I, I might not be here. But that's if everybody else, if we have a quorum and there's enough people that have reviewed the thing, then well, that, Rachel that's, can run. That's the terrific, meeting. and Rachel likes running meetings. Yeah, she does. Okay. Um, she was warming up tonight. Yeah. You just to warm. Okay, so just we're moving on from Dollar General. So I'm going to put this back in the Dollar General box that says that it was. Is the, are you done with the Dollar General yeah. box? Done with the Dollar General. Return it to its place. Thank you. Well, I mean, we're going to. Are you going to be pulling it back out to later? I hope so. No, we can, we can work them all at the end of the meeting. What's that? Well, I showed you having fun. I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here watching things. I'm just, all right. I'm gonna... So set right road, we did, um, yes, we talked about that the last time. They, they provided a lot of responses. Then we realized that um, on most solar projects, we have a, a technical review person, and we had not on that, so we decided to do so, and we said we would use um, Pat. Was it Pat? Is it, well, no, technical review, which is because it, because it's uh, stormwater. Oh. Okay. And um, and site plan review. Um, and that. I got it. Wendy, was that an email today that we got? The um, set right road solar. Was that going to be with the CONCOM or? Um, yeah, I know. Priscilla sent, um, I thought she sent an email about that. I didn't get an email. You don't remember an email from Priscilla about that? About not having, that, that we haven't engaged that person yet, even though we, we were supposed to have. But we can do that this week. 
Um, and, uh, you know, because it is in a, it's in a field, um, mm -hmm. we, we had sort of said, several people commented that what, the, what they were planning on planting is probably better than what's there now. But they did a stormwater report, we should have a review of it, a technical review. Okay. Um, hopefully, you know, it shouldn't cost too much. But was that our agreement? Yeah. Yes. I know there were some concerns because now the water is going to be like concentrated in certain areas and there could be potential for runoff now That's because hard. it's going to shed off those things and just hit, you know, so one whatever it is square foot idea. instead of that whole panel and stuff. So there was quite a bit of discussion about that. So that's why we, we right. went ahead and I, I um... And they, yeah, so here's the whole okay, so calculations let's and things. Make Sheet certain flow. that we've got that. So uh, right road, so. technical. So do we want to just pick one tonight or did you think you already did pick one? No, we did not. I don't think we did. Oh. For some reason, I thought we were using the same one that we we're using on Dollar General, but I could be wrong. We see this is where. Uh, sorry, I I think Concom was involved in this too, and we were going to use the same one. But now I might be getting that wrong, mixed up with Pan Am Southern there, the, the railroad yard one. Right, because they've been very. Yeah, that's active. the one. That's the one we're going to use the same people. So we need to hire someone. All right. The last time we put out um, a request, it was put out to five people and only two bid on it because people were busy and stuff. So I think we should just do the same thing. Same time. Out. Yeah. Yeah, this oh, is, you know, quote, yeah, five or six per quote. You know, and it's a pretty simple project. So hopefully yeah. I can just get back quickly yep. and then we can say yes yep. and, or tell the applicant and then get back to them quickly. All right. You know what I was also wondering? This would be a great idea. Yes. You can't wait to hear this. I know. <laughs> oh, I, it sounds we're, all, we're all holding our breath, John. So, do so it. There's, it. there's several big projects here, and I feel like I'm kind of in the middle of them yeah. too much, and I think that's why I'm messing up a lot. Yeah, because so if someone would take that set right road one and um, and work with Basilla and the applicant to get that thing done, that would be terrific. And who wants to volunteer for that? And then someone else could take, could handle the railroad yard one. Well, I would go with the railroad yard one because this guy, I, I'm, he's, he's already been in touch with you. I know. Yeah. All right. Because I had, because so. we continued the railroad to the November eighth. Yes. That's actually continued to then. Then we were commenting because that's going to be a heck of a night if we got both of those. Um, and we had, I actually, that's how I got in touch with him because I had to get. Right. You had to inform him. I had to get, and he's been kind of. Um, so I'm happy to follow up with his name is Kyle. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Purdy. yeah. Um, and said right road is McCaffrey. Um. Well, if you tell me what you need to have done, John, I'll, I'll do that one. I will give you um, we got it. We've got to pick a, 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 a peer, technical peer review person. Yeah. And um, then they, what is our date for that? So set right road is also called um, Old frontier, frontier three. Yeah. Old frontier. Old frontier, Old frontier yeah. three. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yeah. not looking. I'm looking at my emails. These are all the emails from today. <laughs> Just trying to remember. And so, when are they coming back? The the uh, is that right? The 29th. The 29th. Okay. Yep. All right. Which is quick. That's the thing. Probably. Yeah, it's, it's uh, just a few weeks away. Three weeks, anyways. So here's a. Uh, so so this was um, Pat's administrative review of Old Frontier, and um, the estimate was that it might cost up to four thousand nine hundred dollars. Um, the applicant came back and asked, well, does it have to cost that much or if there's less work? And the way FERCOG works is they only bill by the hours that they actually work. Right. When I first, when she first told me this before she wrote the memo, I, I thought that was kind of high because it's 
that flat 10-acre section there, and I thought it was kind of all straightforward. But then she reminded us about the other solar that we did, and there's just a lot of things you've got to go over and check off and make sure they're done properly. And so That's to keep us out of trouble, it's, we do, I think, we, we could use her assistance. You know, I'm, I'm hoping, and the applicant's it hoping it'll like cost it. less than that. You think you could get up to that many hours, John? It That's could. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think the way those were set up is that the money's put in there, and whatever's not used is returned. So, right. Right. And so, so I guess you know, so I think the applicant has said yes to this one, and then okay. they're waiting for the. Uh, so that's the one from. Okay. So that's the old frontier on Set Right Road. All right. The administrative review, and then we just need then we need to get the technical review. So if you can follow up with Priscilla. So this is the administrative review, admin review. If you can follow up with Priscilla and Pat Smith to make sure we get the technical. Okay. Yep. Review, get the applicant to approve it, and have them do the mostly the stormwater calculations is the main, I think. For the technical review. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Pat was okay. basing a lot of I us will, on our, I will do that. our experience with Lake. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, we discussed at the last meeting, we, we did a lot about how, and they need to come back with their new plan where their wires will be buried. All the way, their, not their, just part their, way, Their yeah. current plan still doesn't have that, and I think okay. it still had, there was something about the road they needed to make some adjustment. I was so, just going to say, they're going to yeah. make road improvements, and we should probably see the, yep. the town's help on that. And what was no, was it, just the, was it yeah. just the town roads, or was it that farm road that's going to go back in? Does that, well, that's their driveway, the so road. that's their issue. Okay. The, the town right. so set right is a town road, but that driveway is their business. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Four hundred feet of town road. Set right. Like as set right goes, yeah. that's a town road. Okay. Yeah. As it cuts across. Well, the I knew that that's where the underground had to be done. That was where the underground went from underground oh. to overground. No, the underground is to the. Uh, underground takes off by the corner there. Yeah. Okay. The, There's a pole, uh, I think. To the right. The rest but of anyway, to the right, because I. Ask them, and it's yep. they go to an easement. They're not going down their driveway. Okay. Change. Change. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good All right. Good. So you got that, and that's scheduled to be on uh, 1029, Set Right Road, Old Frontier. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else on that? And they're going to have to, pr pr Paul. They have to send the change plans. Yeah. They have to what? They have to send in their change plans. Okay, so you, we also need the site plan review where they changed it to buried the cables. And buried the cables and okay. That's what, that's new, what site that's plan. Yeah. new site plan. New site plan. And I think some of the vegetation, we talked about the hedges they're going to plant. I think we, right. they need to show that too. Well, I'll, I'll read, look at those. I'm going to look at those the tapes yeah. at the, of the meeting, so 17th. we'll have that too. All right, then the railroad yard solar project is... Um, so let me put this back into uh, That's what I was thinking. So, Rachel, you're handling that one, right? Yep. The thing about this one. The railroad one? Yep. Okay. So there's a couple issues with the railroad one that I just want to clarify. So. Um, we, we opened a public hearing last time with them, but then I sort of learned that maybe we shouldn't have because they need um, they need a variance they need two variances from the zoning board. This is an extra large solar that they're proposing. It's um, over two megawatts and over ten acres. It's an extra large. that area where they're where they want to put it is not zoned for that, so it's not allowed. So. They really can't ask us to do a site plan review on, if it's not allowed there. So they have to go to the ZBA first to get a use variance, which is, I think, kind of major. Because yeah. otherwise, because it's really, that's like redoing our whole zoning. <laughs> what is that zone, John? That we don't is, have it. It's zoned, um, it's, it's not zoned industrial, it's zoned commercial. commercial. Two, right? Because there's some industrial. See, I thought it, and the railroad owned this property. I think now? a lot of us kind of thought it was industrial because it's East Deerfield Railroad. Yeah, right. but it's really when, odd. It's not. But when you go to the map, it's yeah. called commercial two. Yeah. And so, um, it's not so, where so on our use table, it's a no. It's not a special permit. It's a no. So in order to change that, I guess that's what's called a variance to, to override our zoning, basically. And their setbacks, they want to go from 100 uh, to 25. To 25 which is a pretty major change too. And um, 
and, and we've, we've told them this, and they, they, they keep saying they want to keep going with the site plan review. So I would, I guess I'd like us to make the decision to say, no, we, we the, the problem is we kind of opened the public hearing already, so it's continued. But, um, so I think we need to tell them that we're going to, we can't go any further without. Well, it's always the chicken, chicken and egg thing. And, and it, it, we could do it. A we, joint they need their variances first. Yeah. Otherwise, well, this one very clearly. Yeah. And I, they use as uh, precedent, unfortunately, <laughs> the, um, Lake. the Lake Lake Street development there up at the up at the gravel. Or, I, I don't know nothing about I that know. one. I know. So apparently, on that one, we kind of did them at the same time. But that was remember that was the first one we ever did a solar project. We were new. And it, it was a little it was a little bizarre, and I think we didn't all handle it so well. You know, it turned out okay, but now we know better. So they, they really, I don't think they can use that as precedent. You can use it as precedent. I don't agree with it. We, we learn better now. We should, they should get a variance. There are two variances first, and then resubmit. Two us, wrongs us, don't us, make a right. Uh, but, but, <laughs> put that in the mix. <laughs> John, I, I know we talked about this a little bit because we were questioning why people would come to us and they needed a, a variance or that they needed to go to see the Zoning Board of Appeals. And I thought a long time ago, someone said, that's the last board they go to. And I, it doesn't make sense, because if that gets shot down, why come here and talk to us? Because Well, how can we possibly no be voting on something that doesn't I, I, I agree with you, that's John. I'm just saying, I think this was somebody created this rule. I don't know if it's a really a rule. I don't think it's a rule. I think it's, you know. Well, I was on the zoning was. board at one time, and there were some issues about that. Which, which board would you go to first? You've got to get your variances first. It's... I tend to agree with yeah. you, John, but that isn't the way it is. So someone needs to clarify that with the town. The town offices. Yeah. Well, as a, I mean, it's, it's a council, I guess, legal council, but we, we, well, but I think we can also say. How they're directed is what, what Roger's pointing out, that there may be kind of a protocol, an unwritten protocol that is, no, you want to go to the planning board first and then the ZBA, and we want to say, actually, that can't be a one-size-fits-all. One right, and very potentially, uh, you need your variances first before any kind of you go to. And they might ask the same questions before they grant that variance that we would ask, anyways. I don't right. know, you know. Right, 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 so, right. yeah, I think that would they would they would address some of the things, and then we would get that information, right, and take it into consideration in the second one. Right, but unless that uh, variance legally exists, we're granting permission. Legally. We're just saying no, we, we we're just saying it conforms because it uh, wouldn't comply yeah. That's what I'm as saying. it exists, so it's a we'd have to reject it. Right. But then it's a no from us. Right. You, you would get a no. Just like if Deb <coughs> came with, I mean. Well, I think we should get some clarification whether they have need to get their variance prior to coming to us. That would end the discussion, I guess. Well, can the we, answer is yes. Can the answer we just is say yes. that? Yeah. I think we just so say unless, that. Well, in your mind it is, but. Well, I mean, how about this? Let's. I would rather put it on the applicant. It shouldn't be on us. It should be on them. If they can prove to us, they can come to us first without a variance. <coughs> then uh, we can do okay, that. Okay, that's fine. But I'm, you know, I'm 99% sure. And um, Pat looked into it. Pat Just Smith looked into it. We haven't so. had the council on it. We can, but but I think the applicant. That's the applicant's responsibility, as far as I'm concerned. I agree. So if they can prove to us. I'm just saying what well, past practices used to be here, John. That's and we're trying to make past practices. Practice. I think that's good. Right. But it's, it's, it's we have a, somebody wants to ask a question. Slip it through the planning board. If they say okay, then it's one yeah. of those things. Well, it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. So. Certainly. Now, with you guys stating that they should probably have the zoning <coughs> stuff, wouldn't that also then apply to the Dollar General as a rule because there's variances <coughs> that they need to get from the zoning board? So... Shouldn't I would say yes. yes. And that's where this discussion really started, Nick, I think, was with the dollar, right. dollar General. They should have went there first before they even came to us. And that's what spurred this whole conversation. Right, Rachel, you remember? Mm -hmm. For their parking spaces. <coughs> no, 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 that's it's just, no, no, that's what, what they looking for? Because I think there's a certain size building they can build in that area. Oh, that's right. It was 4,000. 4,000 was a limit, and they want 92,000. Right. 9,200, I mean. It's a special permit. Right. So that's different. But they need to get that before they could even... No, that's different. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. That's, 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 what I, that's what I was trying to figure out. Is if it says no, then you got to go for that. Special permit means you can do it. Okay. You might Thank you. They're taking a risk going that direction. It might be a waste of time. But that's, yeah. 
That's what I was trying to figure yeah, yeah. out with your yeah, discussion. Variances and special permits are a little yeah. different, not always. <coughs> All right, so that's good. So I will instruct, um, actually, you're in charge of the railroad. The railroad. Yes, yeah, so, so if you instruct them, tell them. So there's no, I'll, uh, I'll, the, the problem is we have an open um, meeting. meeting. Open meeting. So if you could ask them to, to with, I guess they would withdraw, would be the best thing. Otherwise, at the next we'll meeting, say we'll no. say, oh, we open the meeting and then we close it. We say, we're not going to give them this until you get a variance. Yeah. So it can go, I guess, I would think. So for them to withdraw without, um, do we need to address the fees at all or anything? Well, I mean, have they paid fees already for their, their permits? Yeah, so we can give back money. That's what I'm think, saying. So you're going to give back their money. I think they were the 250 bucks they didn't give their Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to clarify that, that you know, if we're, if we're saying it was a mistake, yeah. then they get their money back. That's yeah, all. Exactly. It's not a big deal to them, really, $250. Yeah. And, and I think the alternative is it's fine. If they want to push it, then we just we just open the hearing and we close it and then we vote no because they don't have a variance so we have to vote no. So that's kind of the Okay. And I tried to make that clear to Kyle who came right back and said, Oh, can I invite the planning board to come walk the site and can we have a meeting with the butters? But it's like, no, you gotta get a variance. I said you gotta get a variance first. And at the same time, CONCOM is involved there and the um, the PIP. Public information process with the railroad yard. Um, so I've, I've spoken to Lynn Rose, who's been following up on you know the Brownsfield issues up at the railroad yard, the Lake Asphalt. Potentially, we need to know if any of this uh, the territory that they want to deal with yeah, has anything to do with that. So that's another issue that they need to clean up and make sure it's, cool, it's straight before they come to us. Otherwise, it will end up going back to that, and it will take twice as long. And, and Lynn's now aware of it, and she's trying to get the maps out and everything. So. So this is the kind of stuff I've been doing this past month, and I tell you, it takes a lot of hours, so I appreciate yeah. spreading the work out a little bit. Um, it's, it's really a lot. All right, um, next up. John, one thing, so what's the next meeting regarding the uh, railroad yard road? It, it's going to which board now? 20, it's going Our to advice. Yeah. So we, ha we have an open meeting. Um, it was uh, right. November continued 8. to November 8th. Yes, to November 8th. Yep. Okay. But hopefully they'll withdraw it or that something will happen before that. So that otherwise, there's more otherwise it's going to be continued forever. Yeah. So. Got it. All right. Moving on. Merrigan Way Dumont Company. I have no information about this. I don't see anything in the folder. Does anybody know why it's on the agenda? It's fenced off. I'll tell you that in my backyard. No, I can tell you anything you want to know about it. Related it to the nothing, planning board? It has nothing to do with the planning board, so yeah. I don't know why it's on. Yeah, it's not um, even... They act as the planning board for that parcel. They like, met with the Conservation Commission, and they're meeting with, I believe, the select board, board. next week. Well, the select board are the on site the plan review people, right? Yes. Right. For that? We're the storm board. Oh, that's right. We are the storm board. We're not? We are the storm water, too? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we gave that whole section over to them. Well, That's well, right, well, you're well, right. It's, <laughs> it's a company in Greenfield and they've got a couple of different places. They were in a big hurry. Yeah. Huh? They were in a big hurry. I saw the last one that was done. I yeah, you mean the marijuana? No. Oh. The bakery. Okay. How is that doing? What do you see? Nothing. Exactly. Now they can sell that land for whatever they want. But right? what is Dumont Company? <clears throat> it's a machine shop. Oh. So well, it does say in 4730, permitted in special permit, EPP, Board of Selectmen. Um, where does it say about the stormwater? I yeah. thought the stormwater was still ours, but I don't know. You know if it, remember, is it in this section? I know the um, site plan is the town. Down. The town thing there didn't come to us. I know that, but that's probably because it's a town thing, I guess. But, um, stormwater management, conservation commission. I 
It just says consistency with mass stormwater management policy. All the development should comply with DEP stormwater regulations. All right, so it's DEP with stormwater regulations. Maybe that's why instead of um, it doesn't say you have to apply it to the town. I thought we adopted the DEPs. We did, and we added and tweaked it a little bit. Oh. It's mostly. All right, 31 Elm Street, Cumberland Farms facility. So I asked um, that this be put on because, so if you remember back in March of 2017, we approved the site plan review and the stormwater, and it had some conditions on it. Right. And um, they've done their building and everything, and um, it's the, the main access point Entrance and exit off of Route Five and Ten is not complete. Yet they were they were um, they were given a temporary certificate of occupancy by the by the town building inspector. Um, so I've had discussions over the past month or two with people in the town, and we were, I was always told that um, one we were going that the planning board would be notified if there was going to be a temporary uh, certificate of occupancy. And my position was that, well, we did the site plan review and this entrance and exit was an important aspect to that building. I mean, we talked a lot about it and we had a lot of resident comments about that. Yeah. Right, and I, I and, think and, 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 even said that they could not do the project without that access because there was no way to deliver gas. Well, they, it seems to me that they went to the state and when they went to the state, they had two, two um, curb cuts on Elm Street and one on five and 10. And they came back okay. and said that this. Wait, no, was going back. Well, well, I mean, you're going. The same plan we approved had, had an entrance and an exit on five and ten, and one on Elm Street. Okay, all right. That's what we approved. All right, and that's what they are intending. That's what they're doing, but they haven't completed it. Normally, until you complete what was approved, you don't get it open. Yep. So my question is, uh, and this is partly a procedural question as well as a specific, is what what is the we, we tend not to, when we approve things, we don't, things don't come back to us usually before people get a certificate of completions. And we don't always know, and it's really our, our enforcement officer who takes care of that. I, I would say that right now, I don't know if everybody's aware that we don't have a full-time building inspector. I was just gonna ask that question. Who is the building inspector? Dick, so Dick, Dick is back to being the temporary. Dick, Dick is temporary, David Jensen is also yeah. temporary. Oh. So, <laughs> and Dick is also the health inspector, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got sort but of- But what was that reversal that was in here that I read about in the email, that, that the primary entrance was gonna be on five and 10 instead of Elm Street? And so there was some secondary, or I don't know. Do you remember that part of that? Well, we, were, we had talked about how it was, you know, all the, that's only an entrance. And it was all. North it's only northbound con connected. Northbound entrance. Northbound entrance. 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 But somehow that was called the primary access in this. I don't email. know if anybody called it the primary, but in my eyes, it's not the primary. No, it's not. It was never as told to me. That's right. Which which one do you think is primary? I wouldn't think the five and ten one is because it's limited. You can only go, go any north. Yep. Take a right. I was just on. saying, but somewhere in this email, John, that I just that I downloaded yeah. today when I was reading through it. It said something about somehow they were complaint. They were saying that that the entrances were swapped or something. No. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I, yeah, you know. we can help it. What, what that started all this problem is that everything was permitted and everything was near completion. A member of the DEP drove by and felt that there should have been a longer piece of silk fence near the construction site. So we stopped. And he asked him about it, and the contractor said he was unaware that it needed to go that far down. So they were issued uh, a cease and desist order. And it's taken three weeks to go through the process to get that order lifted. <clears throat> Everything is sitting there waiting to be completed, and I think they, they're going to start on Monday. They were issued a temporary occupancy permit until the 10th of November, at which time that entrance will be completed. It was only because they had to wait for the paperwork to go through Boston that it's not completed now. The building inspector, the zoning enforcement agent, along with the chief of police and the highway superintendent, uh, made Cumberland Farms take an empty 
uh, gas tanker. You can see how they could enter that facility off of Elm Street, and there was no problems without crossing lanes, staying within the bounds that a, a regular vehicle would need. So they felt there was no public safety uh, issue. Everything else has complied with all of our regulations except for that. So they were issued a temporary occupancy permit, which will expire on the 10th of um, November. By that time, that entrance should be done. This is the email here, John. Have you got it? You found it? Are you? That's the one that's talking about that stuff. Not the end. That's what I wrote. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the one I was reading. That's the one I was talking about. They claim that five and ten was an extra one. It was not the primary one. No. They 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 said five and ten was the main one. Well, that's so, what I'm saying. That they they reversed them because right. Elm Street oh, was supposed okay. to be the main one. Elm Street's supposed to be the main one. That was a supplemental one that only dealt with northbound traffic. In and out, 5 and 10. So what the attorney said back in January to the zoning board was that, uh, that the main entrance and exit are on to and off of 5 and 10. And the Elm Street entrance and exit is extra. Which I think is backwards. No, that's what they were claiming because at, at the time. Now they're claiming the now I don't think that they're saying it's not so important. I mean, they, there was a lot of issues too. Even the piece, I, I, I don't know the gentleman's name from the state was there as well. And he cited the fact that the Irving station only has one entrance and exit, so does not Motel 6. I mean, the, uh, there's other businesses on Elm Street that only have one entrance. Uh, and they, they, but they wanted to make sure that public safety was right. involved, that, uh, you know, not... Um, Hampered it all, and the, that's why they watched the truck make its deliveries and stuff like that. And I do believe that uh, the building inspector is in possession of a letter from Cumberland Farm saying that they will not make, uh, you know, midday gasoline. Only nighttime. Nice yeah. So after all. And I was wondering, do we? Is there any limitation on when that's supposed to be open? Is that six weeks? They, no. Is it 24 hours, or yeah. is it supposed to close? Oh, oh, the operation no, 24 hours. hours. I think it's open 24 hours. We didn't put anything there. No, they, that was part of the, we asked that question. Yep. But Kip, when you say one driveway, that was, that's a limited access road. So like What's that? five and 10, when they right. first northbound only. Right. Yeah. And so that, that curb cut that Cumberland's got right. never existed. Those other places had those curb cuts. So Correct. that was their right. but they had, access. They applied it. for it and it was granted. Uh, those yeah, but they uh, yeah. access. And we went through it, Phil Henry. I asked the question. I said, "Do you have that curb cut?" And they go, "Yes." And they didn't have it. They just got it just fairly recently. That building was all up before they got that curb cut from the state grant. Yes, that's true. So from now on, I think we got to be more diligent and and say, oh, "Yes, we'd like to see it in writing." They said, "No, the state won't ever put it in writing." Well, right. I don't know if that well, was the case or yeah, not. Yeah, we were lied to very yeah, simply. Exactly. Well. How so? I mean, the state did grant it to them. Well, they kept they saying, we got it, it, we got it, we got they it. They did it. But they didn't. It's a, so they, they, they got the permission to proceed, they, they built, and then it's, a, it's one of those uh, better to ask forgiveness than permission. No, that, that's, I, don't, I don't agree with that. That's I mean, okay. it takes a long time for the state to process paperwork and know that. Um, you know, they wouldn't have started it without some assurance from the state. Okay. So again, part of this is procedural because as I sent out in the email to all of you and, and others today is that the planning board's decision dated March 8, 2017 included the following condition attached to the stormwater permit in particular. And it says that um, upon receipt and approval of the final inspection and reports and or upon otherwise determining that all work was completed in conformance, in conformance with the regulations the planning board, as the stormwater authority, will issue a letter certifying completion. We 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 never we, we never get final plans back and then certify completion and then allow the certificate of occupancy to happen. And so basically, we've you know we're we don't follow up on what we say in our decisions. Um, and I don't think this is the first time, but this is the time when I actually specifically asked the building inspector. I said. This is a zoning board issue. This is a site plan. We approved it with this entrance at exit on 510. It shouldn't open until that's built. 
And the building inspector, along with the chief of police and potential these selectmen, made this decision to give them the certificate of occupancy. And I just want to make that known. And if that's fine, then that's fine. But I didn't know that as the chair of the planning board. I thought this would come back to the planning board and that our site plan review decisions mean something. Well, I so I'd just like to put that in I think the that record. they do mean something. I, I think that this was a temporary uh, thing to take care of uh, a mistake. And uh, I don't see that there's any harm or foul. The, uh, all of the wetland stuff has been completed. Uh, we just have a better report from the, the architects. Well, that's not. That's the site it. plan we approved. I understand, John, but it's, it's so not what's there. The now. building inspector didn't override the planning board. It's just a temporary thing. If that's not there by the 6th, then they will have a, uh, an occupancy permit to continue. But that wasn't what was agreed upon. That, um, that's, that's the point. It's the 6th of what? And I've asked the building inspector to, to come to the meetings, and apparently he's not able to. I just, again, I think communication is part of it. It's not maybe the decision is right, but I think communication and keeping us... Uh, what, 6th of what month? 6th and 10th, I think. I'm sorry, the 10th of November. Of November? Yeah. That's their... That's their cutoff. Because yeah. I know there's a lot of work to do there. I mean, they can strike the roads. They get to do all kinds of stuff up there. Besides... Does the planning board have the authority to do a cease and desist like the other boards did, or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the enforcement no, agent is the building. It's the enforcement agent. And I mean, this, this didn't happen willy-nilly. There was a lot of discussion between a lot of people, and we even got a decision from the town lawyer. It was up to the building inspector. And, well, I, Who's the town we can look at the town attorney. The town attorney recommended not issuing a temporary uh, certificate well, of occupancy for, for a major reason. For, for something that's fairly major, such as a uh, public safety. Yeah. And, 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 I'm not saying public safety, the police chief, everybody check. So public is not, you know, the safety of the public is, is okay. I'm not uh, arguing with that. Um, whether there might be more traffic going on or something, that's, yeah. you know, that, that still might happen. Yeah. Um, so part of it is I just it's going to go back to procedures that I think I, we need to tighten up a little bit. Um, and, and I'll maybe add on at this point that this is why we've often asked that there be someone in the town hall who supports us. And that's this new position that I think is being advertised could do that. Because I think these are the kind of things that go between the lines sometimes. The uh, administrative assistant has some things in there about supporting the planning board, that position. Because uh, Priscilla is mainly Diane. working with Condom and no. no, she's there. Uh, I think that's a part time okay. yeah. position, so we want to get full time. Um, but these are just, I want to just highlight it as, as, as we learn more. Yep. We should improve, I guess is what I'm hoping. And with more projects, with more, I mean, we want that oversight. We want to be able to feel like we're sitting here talking about these things and then, then the follow through is, is as, a, as a, a bigger picture, you, you, it's my point of view, that we do have a, a, an important responsibility, but we're all volunteers and it's very part-time, and that there's a lot of general laws on timeliness, and we do not do things timely. I mean, we think we do, uh, but how many, every project that comes in front of us, we have people sign extensions, extensions. One of these days, somebody's going to say, sorry, folks, and you're going to deny them, and they're going to, you know, you, the world can't, the world is very courteous to us because we work at a snail's pace and understandable because we're all volunteers. We can't come here every night. We can't spend all our hours during the day. And, and that's why, you know, maybe we put our other people like the building inspector in these precarious positions that we have to make a decision. You know, the corporate lawyers are calling and well, we need to do this. Everything is done, but it's not our fault here. It, you know, I can see how things happen. And it, and it's not like they're bending rules saying, you don't have to have this. All right, we understand your situation, and these are uh, this is a, a, a road map as to how you can get something that you want, but you have to understand that there's a deadline and consequences to that. And that is that if you don't have this completed, then you're going to shut Right, then, then you'll get a December 10th uh, extension. 
that, that's so I guess you, I, I don't. Just so you better have it done, or else I, it'll I'm go into December 10th. I'm just saying that this is how it is. I mean, and you know, John. I mean, what, even where you work, I mean, well, things happen. You know. Well. So I guess the other question I have is, um, and we've talked about this a lot, that we put these conditions on, and then someone else's the enforcement is, and. Um, I'm wondering if we ask the building inspector to come more to come to some more of our meetings that happens. And again, part of that I think because we're, we're short staffed right now. Um, but that would be a recommendation that I'd have is we often have questions for you know that have to do with the building inspector and the monitoring. And if we've had two meetings over the past month, and it would have been appropriate for me, I think, to have the building inspector say that this was going on, inform the planning board at least. Well, somebody from the last our last meeting came from the town and thought it was a safety issue. And, and we said yes. Yeah, we, we thought, thought it was a safety issue too. I, I was surprised to see it opening because I didn't think it was going to. Because we said at stuff. the last meeting, she when that was brought to us, we said yeah, no, we we feel that was strongly our, that was part of our issue with the project in the first place was the traffic patterns and the safety of that right. spot. So I, I, I Rogers, right? We were asked and we gave her recommendation. The attorney gave the recommendation, and, and, and so. You know, the decision was made, and I, I think potentially through the right procedures, but I, I think we got to look at those procedures and part of it just communication. It will be difficult for a little while, I mean, until we have a full-time building inspector yeah. because, mm -hmm. you know, both of the people are very limited in their hours, and they actually work more hours than they're paid for, so yeah. when they're asked to come here tonight, you know, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. And again, you know, I've been on this board for a long time, and it just hasn't really arisen. Much, but I just this is what do we this do the biggest the, issue I've seen. What do we do about the dinosaurs? That's what I want to know. Dinosaurs. Uh, so they've been on for a long time. They they went extinct. <laughs> <laughs> In the meteors. John, can I bring up one more question about the Cumberland Farms? Uh, you know, over, over the past yes. how many years that we've been here, uh, we've had a lot of people out in the audience um, enraged about signage in this town. Um, we spent countless hours, as you're aware, on signage. When I pull up to Elm Street, I see a sign that I thought the intent was, with our signed bylaws, not to have. Um, internally lit, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't know if I'm right or not, but I, I think our bylaws say no internally lit signs. I believe they got a special permit, and yeah. I have I asked to have. A I box think that came up at our show. meeting, and they got. They okay, that's they why had one, they had one at the old store. They just wanted to move it to the new store. Okay. So I mean, it's not the same physical sign, but it's a it's they had a, a internally lit sign right. at so, the old store, so they got one to the new. Okay. I think. So, yeah. So I don't John know Q. Public can't have it, but yeah, I get it. Well, and no, if they taller. hadn't had one at the store, they couldn't couldn't have had a new one unless they. It's taller than allowed, and they got a special permit. Let me see if it's in here. Uh, because that was a good question. And there is a nice sign that points to Mount Sugarloaf and Downtown like South sign. Deerfield that we requested. I, I wonder if that's smaller than what we could ask about. So that's that's what we should double check that they did get that special permit because it doesn't say. I knew there was a height. It was a height thing. Yeah. And, I don't a, uh, really and, the, the, and the lit part of it, too. No, I don't remember that part, but you could. I thought I remembered them you know, saying that they wanted to continue the internal sign that they, like they just had down there. I think that, they had nothing I to think that down there. came up. Yeah, I don't think that was the precedent or controlling factor. Yeah. Well, it's not really grandfather because it's in another location, but it was exactly. just, you know, it's, um, it was. Kind of like grandfather's a grandfather's side. Side. Kind of, yeah. I would say a grandfather thing would go if the new place that takes over where the old Cumbies was wanted to right. continue utilizing yeah. that That's side. more of a grandfather. Move grandfather. Grandfather. That would be the grandfather. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't we also have a bylaw that says no neon signs in town? And yet there's three establishments in the center of town that all have neon signs in the <coughs> Well, it said uh, neon signs internally lit, but it comes up to the, um, I don't know which ones you're talking to, Specifically, but um, <laughs> yeah, but some of it comes. There's different signage has different. I'm not saying you're right or wrong. It's just I, I think there's different. 
types of signage. If it's for one purpose, it's different than the other. I don't know. But, but the point right, is, so is that sign that is there, I think, is what the intent was by the people of the town of Deerfield not to have in town. That's the point that I'm making. And they, that's exactly what they don't didn't want to see, and that's exactly what they got. So shred the zoning book again. So I'm gonna um, so I'll follow up with this. I want to check on how, how they got permission to do that sign. If they did, if they didn't, then it should come down. But if they got it, we should be clear how they got it. I think it was special permit to the right. CDA, both on the height and the height. Uh, and if it was, then we need to revisit signs and make a sign like that by right because the same thing's going to happen the next time. Well, or well, I mean that's the special permit process is to allow for that. And then the other, um, so is that something people, I, I, I want some input here. Is, do, you, do we think the planning board should hear from the building inspector more often when it comes to uh, offering temporary certificate of occupancies on things that we've already made? I think we should get advice from whoever the building inspector is, yes, because yeah. like you say, it's his full-time job. I think you would be more educated on a lot of the stuff that we discuss than we are. Uh, and just and to he's keep an enforcement up. officer. Yeah. yeah. Keep us updated. I mean, if that's well, you gotta, it's, yeah, yeah. it's one thing to hear from somebody but if we like me. Having... It's another thing for the person who says, this is what we'd like to do. Here's why I'd like to do it. Here's, you know, and I, I think it's great that we've got Kip here, but honestly, we should be hearing from the agent himself, not, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. But with the way that we, but I don't, I think, how long has it been that we've had any kind of a building inspector that was here for any period of time? You know, I'm not going to the past. I'm asking about. Well, I I know, but we can we can ask we can ask for something we can't get, and and they can issue or something. But how do you how do you enforce something? You know, I was say Dick has been the building for quite a while. He's come. He's come a lot. Well, he's always been the filling in one. No, no, he's been a building inspector for 15 years. Yeah, I was gonna say. Really? Then he became health inspector and he cut his hours maybe, but then he was. No, I thought he was. Because you have to know. Know. Okay. <laughs> Any other reasonable business? No, that was, as it hasn't been for 15 years, has it? Yeah. yeah. And, and I keep getting back to your comment. Part of the reason for a board is we can kind of represent the residents too. So it's not that we're the experts. They, hopefully, right. the building inspectors are more experts. But getting bouncing things off of us and right. informing us, I think that's respectful to the residents. That's what we're here for. So. I, but I think Dick did notify you that he was going to. No. He notified me that he wasn't going to do it unless he talked to me. He about notified it. So anybody. that's it was, maybe wasn't that's that a meeting. Maybe no, it wasn't that meeting. Oh, no. Maybe that's built up my. Uh, it was our last meeting. The excitement about this is that I feel like I was steered. To Almost the like there was something going on behind the scenes, huh? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Stop the young Mickey. So that's. I think we know what's going on with our continuations, three break projects, taking care of these other two. Is there any other business? It was not on the agenda that anybody has. I just have one question. Is the American way totally off our plate? Did we finally decide that so it's, it's irrelevant to us? It was never on our plate. Okay. Um, Nor will it be. Okay. That's all I want yeah, to do. It's in the EPD. It's in the yep. expedited permitting district. I'm just so going to put down to EPD and we don't have any responsibility there. Yeah, so maybe general. Yep. Kip. Yes, sir. It sounds like that's what we were looking for down at the EPD, this, this particular type of company, if it's a machine shop type company. Am I correct when I say that? Um, oh, yeah. I, I guess I'm unclear as to what you mean, what we were looking for. Well, it was, you know, why it was clean, clean, it why it clean create yeah. decent job, well-paying jobs. Or, I mean, that, that's yeah. what I mean by that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they asked the town to clean up that. The overall project is the owners are going to do a real nice job. They're working hand-in-hand -hand with the people from the bakery. I don't know if the bakery people are going to be moving as quickly to put up their facility, but they're, they're working really well. How many people do they think that they'll employ at that particular location? I, I believe around 100. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Great. Is that, what hours of operation? I think three shifts or just first three? Out one shift. Just seven, one shift. Seven to four or something like wow, that. Wow, it's going to be a pretty big building, 100 people. Uh, I think it's 25,000 square feet. Nice. One four or two? One four. Thirty feet tall in front, and about twenty feet tall in the back side. This the roof's going to be slanted so they can take advantage of solar. Okay. 
Um, Very good. Hearing no other business, does any, oh, so we have the next meeting is October 29th. And that's at least for the uh, at seven o'clock, right? Old Frontier Set Right Road project, and then there might be other things on that agenda at seven o'clock. Uh, then I, I guess I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Motion to dissolve. I'll second the motion. <laughs> adjourn. <laughs> you can't adjourn. You're going to continue this meeting for another time. For no specific reason. No, we're ending this meeting. That's what he right. said. He said adjourn. Okay. Adjourn means go to another one. No. That's what the town said. I, I know what he says. Sure. No. I understand. Oh, I don't know. Motion. I think I heard 700. Is that right? Yeah, you did. You heard 700. 700. Okay. At 834. That's a wrap. At 834. 834.